Liz here with Simon Says Farms, and today I'm going to talk about this latch system that we have on our Dutch door. So the problem with this style of latch is that it's not truly locked and tamper-proof from the goats. And my goats have figured out how to open it with their mouths. The troublemakers. So because I store their grain behind this door, I want to make sure that they don't manage to open it and go in and help themselves. Locking it's going to require a trip to the hardware store, which I might not have time to do right away. So I'm gonna come up with a temporary fix before I can do a permanent fix. So today I'm gonna to use baling twine. And baling twine is a farmer's best friend. And I use this around the farm a lot to fix things on the fly. So we use it to hang hay feeders in the rabbitry. Fix fencing. And when you've run out of ideas on what you can do with all your baling twine, you can always make a big giant ball of twine for your barn cat. Kitty kitty. So let's get back to the latch. So for my temporary solution, I'm going to use this baling twine and I'm gonna put it through this hole and loop it around here to make it so that if it's lifted up, we won't be able to slide that way and become unlatched. is in and it's working as expected. It can be lifted up like this, but it can't slide to become unlatched. This is so redneck. Unfortunately, until I get back from the hardware store, I'm not going to be able to use this door. So after a couple trips to the hardware store and some trial and error with the outside latch, I actually decided that it would be a lot easier to latch and lock it from the inside. So I went to the hardware store and I got this slide latch. So I'm going to install it low enough so the goats don't have access to it. So first I'm going to mark with a sharpie where I'm going to put my latch and then I'm going to drill some pilot holes. You naughty. So now I'm going to mark the side of the door here. So I know where to drill my pilot hole for the latch. So my latch is now working the hole I was able to drill and had to get drilled out a little bigger than I was expecting. But you can see that it's down low enough where the goats won't be able to get it and play with it. But it also has a hole here that I can install a carabiner and make it really goat proof. I hope this video showed you how to goat proof your Dutch doors. If you have any questions or comments about how I installed this latch, please leave those in the comment section below. And as always, I hope you subscribe and join us next time. Minnie, you did good. <laughs>